How to identify any iPhone. First, let's identify the three areas where we can find more information about the phone. If the phone powers on, under Settings, General, and About tab. If you have access to the original box, and physically labeled on the back of the phone. We'll be looking for one of the following identification methods. Apple model number, which is usually an A followed by four digits. Apple manufacturer part number, which is an M followed by five digits or letters. Apple serial number. International mobile equipment identity, also known as IMEI. And lastly, mobile equipment identifier, also known as MEID. Any one of the five can be used to identify the phone model. Let's put this method to practice. If you're able to get to the home screen, go ahead and select the settings icon. Under settings, go ahead and scroll down and find the general icon. Now scroll up and click about. Here you'll find all the information that was listed, like the serial number and model numbers. If the phone doesn't power on but you have access to original box, you can find the information on a sticker on the bottom of the box. All five identifiers are listed on this sticker. Lastly, if you turn the phone over on the bottom where it says iPhone and fine print on some models, the IMEI and the model numbers are listed. If you have access to the serial number, go ahead and open up a Safari window navigate to appledollars.com scroll down all the way to the bottom of the page the home page and type in the serial number right there where you can check it against Apple's database this pulls information directly from Apple's information pool go ahead and type in the capture code and you will get your phone's model as well as warranty information. If you wanted to check if the phone is iCloud locked or you wanted more detailed information, then go to imei24.com and then the, in the IMEI checker, type in the IMEI number and click check. This will run it against multiple databases and give you much more information just uh, verify that you're not a robot and get past the capture screen once you get past the capture screen it'll give you all the detailed information such as purchase date warranty uh, detailed model number and uh, lock status Now let's go over the physical characteristics of every single phone starting with the 5C all the way to the iPhone X. iPhone 5C can be quickly identified as having a plastic back. It's the only phone that has a plastic back and comes in four colors. iPhone 5 has a square home button. iPhone 5S looks exactly like the iPhone 5 except it doesn't have a square home button iPhone SE looks exactly like iPhone 5S on the back of the phone it's clearly labeled iPhone SE here's what they look like all from the rear aligned next to each other there's a slight difference between the iPhone SE and 5S and the iPhone 5 near the camera where the flash is an iPhone 5C all the way on the left is obviously plastic there are four types of iPhone 6's the regular iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus is labeled with just iPhone in the back and it has the model number information the iPhone 6 Plus is slightly bigger once again it just says iPhone in the back All iPhone 6 models have a stripe on the top that makes them easy to identify. Now the iPhone 6S is the same as the iPhone 6 except on the bottom right under the iPhone it says S. The slightly smaller one and then the iPhone 6S Plus 
is the larger one and also is clearly identified with an S. There are two types of iPhone 7, the small regular one and the plus. Once you flip it over you can see it no longer has a stripe up top. It's still labeled iPhone and some serial information is right underneath it. The plus also doesn't have a stripe up top and now has a du dual camera. The information is still listed under the iPhone logo. There are only two types of iPhone 8s, the 8 and the 8 Plus. It's glossy on the back because of the wireless charging and it no longer has any serial information under the iPhone logo. The Plus is also glossy and has a dual camera just like the iPhone 7. iPhone 10 is the newest and easiest to identify out of all of the phones. It doesn't have a home button so you can tell right away. If it has an Apple logo but doesn't have a home button, it's an iPhone 10. Let's recap all the iPhone Pluses. Here's the 8 Plus, the 7 Plus, the iPhone 6S Plus, and the iPhone 6 Plus regular. Here's what they look like from the back. You can see the 6S has an S, the 7 no longer has an line up top and has a dual camera it still has the serial information and then the iPhone 8 has a dual camera it's very glossy and has no information under the iPhone logo similar story to the standard iPhones iPhone 8 iPhone 7 iPhone 6s and iPhone 6 starting with the 6 there are two lines one up top and the 6s the s is clearly labeled on the 6s the lines are gone on the iphone 7 and iphone 8 it's very glossy because it has wireless charging all of the 5 series are quite simple starting with the newest the iphone se which is a iphone 5 surrogate it says se on the back you can quickly identify that it has the same camera as the fi iPhone 5s the iPhone 5 has a square home button now let's stack them all up starting with the iPhone 8 plus here's a iPhone 7 plus Now the iPhone 6S Plus. Finally, a regular iPhone 6 Plus doesn't have the S on the back. Now the iPhone 8 regular, it's uh, glossy on the back because of the wireless charger. iPhone 7 still has all the information in the back but it doesn't have a stripe on the back near the camera. iPhone 6S has the stripe and is clearly labeled S on the back. iPhone 6 regular has the stripe but doesn't have the S in the back. iPhone 5 SE or iPhone SE which is a iPhone 5 surrogate is the newest version clearly is labeled SE on the back iPhone 5s doesn't have a square on the home button iPhone 5 which has the square on the home button and lastly iPhone 5c which has a plastic back and comes in several different bright colors if you found this video useful, hit like and subscribe and check out more awesome videos at AppleDollars.com. Thanks for watching.